presentation. I wanted to share with you some news that I just confirmed, and unfortunately it is not good news for Sue Surf. I have learned from various sources that he was arrested today around 1.30 this afternoon by the U.S. Marshal Service, New York, New Jersey Regional Fugitive Task Force. Now, I'm going to read from my notes because I want to make sure that I give this to you absolutely correctly, and I literally just got off the last phone call that I had to make to try to confirm this for you. Rapper Sue Surf arrested for racketeering charges in Jersey City. Oh, boy. U.S. Marshals confirm Rajan Cox, also known as Sue Surf, was arrested after he barricaded himself in the building of the 200 block of Wilkinson Avenue this afternoon. As units conduct the perimeter around the building and moved in to apprehend, um, Sue Surf tried to flee with his girlfriend out the back door. He seen police, so he went back in. After about 20 minutes, he turned himself in the authorities which charged him with racketeering. I wanted to share with you some news that I just confirmed, and unfortunately it is not good news for Sue Surf. I have learned from various sources that he was arrested today around 1.30 this afternoon by the U.S. Marshal Service, New York, New Jersey Regional Fugitive Task Force. Now, I'm going to read from my notes because I want to make sure that I give this to you absolutely correctly, and I literally just got off the last phone call that I had to make to try to confirm this for you. So they're, they're saying that Sue Surf was picked up in Jersey City. He was at a home there with a female. The uh, sources say that the house was surrounded by law enforcement and that Sue Surf with the female tried to go out the back door. But then when they went outside, they saw that there was a lot of law enforcement because you know what kind of uh, presence they're gonna take on a case like this. So they, Sue Surf and the woman went back into the house and they stayed in there for about an hour in what the law enforcement officials call a barricade. They say he was barricaded inside. It doesn't mean that he was nailing down doors or windows or anything like that. It just means he was inside the home and not willing to come out right away. So they called in these hostage negotiators. They're called crisis negotiators from the U.S. Marshals, uh, New York, New Jersey Fugitive Task Force. They talked with him for a while, quite a while apparently, but then he peacefully surrendered. So they took him into custody and it appears right now that he w is wanted by the DEA on a federal RICO case. I'm gonna to try to get more information about that. Um, and that right now he was taken to Essex County Jail, which is where he's being held. As some of you may know, that if you are facing a federal charge in New Jersey and Newark, the feds have a contract with the Essex County Jail and they keep their detainees there. So right now, Sue Surf is under arrest. He is at the Essex County Jail. He's expected to go before a judge in federal court in Newark uh, sometime tomorrow. I'm gonna to be confirming that for you as well. But again, just to confirm, he was arrested. It is in connection with a RICO case, a DEA RICO case. He's in Essex County Jail. He is uh, apparently in okay condition, and he was taken into custody this afternoon, and we're finding out more about that. But just to confirm what everybody has been asking me about an update, this is what the latest is. He's okay, but he's detained. He's in Essex County Jail facing federal RICO charges. We'll find out more what that's all about for you and bring you that news once I have it confirmed. He's expected to go before the judge tomorrow in the federal court that would be in downtown Newark. I'm gonna find out about that and confirm all of that as well. So that's the latest on Sue Surf. And uh, let's remember that no matter how bad it looks for people, you are innocent until proven guilty. They have to prove this case. And believe me, I'm gonna find out everything I can possibly find out about this case uh, from the streets up to the law enforcement offices to see what's really going on here and get back to you with that information. So that's the latest here from our Fox 5 newsroom. Damn, man. Free to wave.